order at 637. First, first order of business is to approve the minutes from December 21st. Have you read them? We received those, right? Yes. Yeah, like she sent them a while back. Yeah, almost right after the meeting. Okay, yeah. I remember now. All right. right. I make a motion. We accept the minutes. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Two to nothing. I signed warrant and commitment for fiscal year 2021 of actual property taxes. In, in the order of $6,897,640.45. Sounds I signed personal property taxes for fiscal year 2021 in the order of $476,423.62. Okay. I signed the sewer use lien tax for fiscal year 2021 in the or amount of fourteen thousand seven hundred and eighty five dollars and ninety three cents. Okay. I have in front of me oh. I'm sorry. a real estate exemption list. Yeah, it looks a little different than usual, but I'll be updating it. It's so it needs to be updated. Like the amount is fine on the back, but I figure I'm going to be, I usually stamp it anyway. So, but that's the total amount. For a total amount of exempted property of $41,375. That's what you guys signed last meeting. That's what we signed the last meeting, although Nicole indicates that she was going to need to update it. Well, it's just not in that format. It wouldn't print right. So that will get. But the amount is correct. The amount is correct. Okay. Yes. And all the people that are on there are correct. It's just the format is a little different. And I have an apportionment of for partial ID 4B-29 for Peter and Maria Krause on Barton Street that I'm going to sign. Okay. Was that property sold or divided? Divided. Okay. That's my favorite thing to do are those apportionments. Do I need to send you? Uh, yes. You're still defined at all. Apportionments in my world are a pain in the butt. Yeah, yep. That's a pain in the butt. Yes, it is. Yeah. And this person. That's yeah. worse than everything else. I'm glad to. It's good and done with. And that's it for signatures. Yeah. Um, do we need to go into an example? How many? Um, um. Well, I wanted you guys to work on the clause 18s tonight. Okay. Um, those are the hardship loans or the hardship exemptions. So. All right, that'll be after we that, get rid of him. Yeah. Where did he go? I don't know. All right, we're going to skip executive session and cover the rest of the agenda, which is a discussion of property cards being put online and print out from Vision. Nicole wants to give us an up other update, and then I'll uh, practice shooting her down. <laughs> So I had reached out to Vision because they had um, sent out what next year's prices should be. And I noticed there was a few other price tags on there of things we could get. So um, she said most likely what we're looking for is web hosting. And Bill, can you hear me? Bill, can you hear Nicole? Yeah, I'm getting the gist of it. Okay. So did you see the printout that I attached with the agenda last minute? Yes, I have it in front of me. So I was just reading down um, the bullet area 
And so there was the web hosting is what would be to put our tax cards online. So this way a property owner could just go on to the Granby website and look at their most current property card. Um, and then the, I got, I'm not really sure about the PDF, like whether we have to do the 450, but otherwise, you know, it, it would be roughly about 3000 a year to have our cards put online. We do seem to be the last community out there that uh, <laughs> has not put our cards online. So I just figured I would update the information for you guys to see if, you know, we should bring it to town meeting and maybe ask for the funding. $3,000 more. Yes. You know, Board of Health asked for mosquito spraying and they got approved for like, you know. That's because we like them. Mosquito spraying. So I figure why not get our property record cards online so our wonderful residents can see what their property is assessed at. I think it's worth bringing to Chris. I do too. Um, as a special favor to Nicole, um, after I receive some more um, oatmeal cookies, I'll bring it to Chris. I'll but be not work before. I will be working before. on that tomorrow. Not before. <laughs> Maybe by Friday. Maybe by Friday. <laughs> All right. So with that, we'll continue that. We'll keep it on our All agenda. Right. Thank you. Thank you guys for listening. And then otherwise, did everyone read the emails um, from Carrie Ann about pools and stuff? That And Roy, Roy chimed in about above ground pools? Yes. So do we have a gist of... I guess it is still taxable. And he's, was he saying to just keep it on there? Yes. Okay. So we're going to continue doing what we've been doing? Bill, what's your thoughts? Uh, I, I would think so, yes. I don't have any good reason not to continue doing what we're doing. How, about, how about decks around the pools? Um, short of something official from the state, I, I would recommend we keep doing what we're doing and okay. we post that out to the state. Okay. Um, I'm more than happy to change if they tell us to change. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. That's a great explanation to me. Okay. Um, IGR property tax exemptions for economic development. Um, if I'm going to go in and talk to Chris sometime this week, um, I will bring that to his attention also. Did you read that article as well? Yes, I did. So that means that's like a select board decision, not an assessor's decision? Yes. Okay. So is that something we take off of our agenda going forward? Um, not till I report that I've spoken to him. Okay. Did you hear me, Bill? Yes, I am. I hear you clear, Greg. Okay. Uh, we won't take that off until I report back on my conversation with Chris. Okay. Chris is going to be on vacation next week, which is why I intend to see him this week. I wish I was on vacation next week. You were on vacation all last week, for God's sakes. <laughs> you were home with your children. No, what could be I better? Worked here. What could be better? I had one day off. See? I was in the office. Okay. Questions from the Grammy Business Development Committee. Uh, do we need to revisit that? Yes, because I don't think we've made a decision, so I just think we need to keep it on there. Okay. Um, we should plan on making some sort of decision at by our next meeting. Well, it, I'm not saying we can't. I mean, no, I'm, it's just, I, I find it awful hard with, without being in person, yes. or at least, I, ha I find it hard on the telephone. If we had Zoom or something where we could see each other and talk oh, back and forth, to me it would be much easier, um, but I don't know how to necessarily make that happen. Not without stabbing Nicole in the eye. <laughs> um, so my other thing with that is, so this is ideally asking if we're going to remove the reduction in land value over there? Is that what this is saying? Because I still feel like it's not an ideal place to live because the plains are so close. 
So does that not matter? Is it only a noise? Well, production? it's not even so much as it's a noise factor. Um, because the government will tell you that for the most part they fixed that completely, uh, which is not entirely accurate. Uh, now it's, it's what happens if a wheel falls off? I mean, <laughs> uh, right. um, but um, they own the property. Okay. So we don't necessarily have to do anything with that property, and the noise map has shrunk. Okay. Um, those people who did not sell. To them mm -hmm. maybe are entitled to a break maybe they're not um, but we'll revisit the noise map okay. to and certainly um, if those people did not sell when they had an opportunity to sell um, they had good reason and that would probably be they feel their market value is higher than what they were offered or they just have a lot of memories in that home and they just don't want it to be demolished. Is that why you're never moving? Yes. The memories that right. are made in my house. Because you got beautiful neighbors. I know. The best. Best. <laughs> best ever. The best. Um, but until I can bring well, back there the is noise a, map. And there is a house that's selling right now on East Street. So I mean we should wait to see what the price tag is going to yeah. be for that. Yeah. Because so that will show yeah. if things, if there hasn't fact, been. It's, it's, it's in that flight path. It's like right when you come down, or right when you, it's in that area. Okay. It's in that area. All right, so, so that's going to be on the agenda. So keep it on there. Okay. Do we have any other discussion? Bring it forward. So keep. Yo, know, you got anything else? No. All right, we're going to have to enter into executive session.